Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I am going to discuss in detail regarding photographing the Orion constellation and the Orion nebula with the help of our smartphone. Yes, in this video I am going to discuss it in detail and I request you to watch the whole video so that all your doubts will get clear up. Okay, so please don't skip any point. But before that, if you are not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe to the channel for more smartphone astrophotography tutorials and details regarding topics on astronomy, astronomical events and science and technology. So without wasting much time, let's begin our today's video. So the first task is that knowing the light pollution of our area. See, it is very important to know the light pollution because depending upon the light pollution, we have to set the phone settings in such a way that we can get a better image. So for this, we have to use this site called light pollution map. Light pollution is generally measured in terms of bottle scale which is a 9 level numeric scale. So as we move from bottle 1 to bottle 9, the light pollution is increasing. So it is suitable to be under bottle 1 to bottle 3 skies for better astrophotography and stargazing activities. But you can still go up to bottle 5 and bottle 6 skies. I will not prefer bottle 6 but up to bottle 5 only. At present, I am at my hometown which is a bottle 5 skies and I also capture some images under bottle 5 also. But mostly my astrophotography with the phone is done under bottle 3 skies that is at my village. So I am going to uh, show the comparison between bottle 3 and bottle 5 sky images and I will also tell the settings for both the uh, let's say dark skies as well as the light polluted sky. Okay. So, uh, for knowing the bottle scale of our particular location, I have made a detailed video. The link to that video is given in the description as well as in the i button over here from where you can watch it. So this is about the light pollution. So the second point is regarding the time duration and the direction in which this constellation is visible in the night sky. So you can see this constellation in the winter season in the northern hemisphere and you can see it in the summer season in the southern hemisphere. So in the northern hemisphere you can find is rising in the east then going in the southeast and then setting in the west direction and if you are under the uh, southern hemisphere then you can find it rising in the east then going in the northeast and then setting in the west direction okay. So this is regarding the uh, direction and the time during which it is visible. Now regarding the months so you can see it from the month of December up to the month of April okay in both the hemispheres. Okay, so this is regarding the time duration and the direction of the Orion constellation visibility. So now we will see that how to spot this constellation in the night sky. So for that we have to use the stargazing application. See, you can also uh, spot it without using the stargazing application with the naked eye because uh, we just have to find the Orion's belt and once we have find it then we have to arrange our phone or align our phone on the tripod or on some steady object so that we can take the picture of the whole constellation. But the task for using the stargazing application is important because so that we will be able to know the nearby stars and label the image properly. Okay, So you can see on screen that some of the stargazing applications are shown. You can use any of them. All the stargazing applications are available on the play store and all are android applications. So you can use any. Today I am going to use the sky tonight application and which is a very accurate application. Okay, so at present it is about uh, 7 o'clock and I will wait for some time until the sky gets dark so that we can uh, use the stargazing application properly and I will show you that how to uh, locate the constellation and then I will uh, finally begin with the part of photographing the constellation. Okay, so we have to wait for some time. So friends, the sky is completely dark now and now I will show you that how to use the stargazing application to spot or to locate the Orion's constellation in the night sky. Okay, so now I am opening the stargazing application called Sky Tonight. So friends, now I am opening the Sky Tonight application and before that I want to request that please keep your phone in the portrait mode because some of the features of this application are not uh, available or they are not uh, working in the landscape mode. Okay. So you can see over here that the application is open now and you can see that it is showing the star map in the application. So now first task is good we have to calibrate the compass in the application. So for that we need to move our phone keeping it handheld in the pattern of infinity or 8 number. Okay. So first we have to calibrate it by moving it in the pattern of infinity or 8. Once we have done it then we have to set the location of our area in the application. So for that you can see that on the bottom side 4 options are shown. You have to click on the first option from right side which is the settings option. Then you have to proceed ahead by using the settings. Then we have to click on general option and you can see over here that location is shown in the top most side. 
okay so three options are there for setting the location first is an auto detect option you can click on it and the application will uh, directly align based upon the uh, coordinates by uh, that is the auto detect mode second is by typing your name so when you will click on the second option you can see that cities and countries are shown in this uh, uh, name name list and you can type your location name and you can find it or else you can use the auto detect option and the third option is this coordinates option so you can manually enter the coordinates if you know the coordinates of your area okay and then it will detect it by default or you i mean the manual mode sorry okay so this is how we have to set the location of our area in the application the second task is that we have to now search for orange constellation so you can see that in the left side in the i mean the first option in the left side in the bottom side magnifier option is shown we have to click on it and we have to type orion in the search bar okay so see you can see over here that it has shown already so you have to click on it and then we have to click on this blue option okay this blue circle card option so it will currently show that yes this is the direction of orion now we have uh, find out the i mean we have spot the orion in the application now we have to find it in the sky so you have to click on this compass option again this blue option is shown so you have to keep your phone either on the tripod or you can handle it and then you can click on this option so it will show the current direction in which my phone is facing so now i um, actually my phone is kept on tripod so now i will move the tripod so that my phone faces towards the orion constellation so you can see over here that i have shown i mean i have aligned my phone on the tripod in such a way that it is now facing the orion constellation okay so this is how we have to spot the orion constellation and then we have to arrange our phone in that direction by using the stargazing application so this was all about spotting the orion constellation by using the stargazing application you can also find it out by uh, finding this three uh, i mean this belt the orion belt so you can see over here that three stars are shown these stars are distinctly visible naked eye in the night sky even though i am under bottle fire i can clearly see it with my naked eye so you just have to find this orion belt that is the three stars and uh, then you will be able to capture it so uh, if you don't have any star gazing application or you have not or you have not downloaded it then you can just spot this orion belt in the sky and then you can align your phone in that direction such that the rear camera of your phone faces towards this orion belt so friends now i will begin with photographing part of the orion constellation with the help of phone so for that we have to use the pro mode in our phone's camera okay so now i will be shifting over to the screen recording so that you, you will get a better idea so friends now i have arranged my phone in the direction of the orion constellation i mean the rear camera of my phone is now facing towards the orion constellation so now i will move towards the pro mode and i will show you that uh, it is exactly pointing in that direction i will zoom a little bit and i will show you the orion belt see you can clearly see that uh, three stars are visible in the middle of the frame okay in this uh, margin i mean so you can clearly see this so this is the orion belt i have zoomed up to 3x and you can clearly see it even without this it is visible very clearly in the naked eye so now i will zoom out and now i will tell you the settings so at present i am in the bottle file location which is my hometown but i figure i mean i photograph in the bottle 3 location also which is my village so i will uh, not use that settings i will show you the settings which are good in the light polluted area because bottle wise is a light polluted area so first thing is that we have to set the white balance so for that you can use uh, auto option so i only prefer auto option i don't bother other options in the white balance second thing is that we have to keep our focus in the infinity or at the maximum point because we have assumed that uh, i mean actually this constellation and the stars are not close to us they are very far far from us okay so we can assume it at an infinite point or they are very far so the light that is coming from that far point will get captured by the phone sensor so that we have to keep the focus of the pro mode to be infinite or to be maximum okay second thing is that we have to set the shutter speed so if you are under bottle 5 or you can say light polluted area that is either bottle 5 or bottle 6 then you can keep the shutter speed in the range of either uh, uh, 8 seconds 
see beginning with 8 seconds and you can maximum go up to 15 seconds okay if you are under bottle 5 or bottle 6 guys if you are under uh, let's say bottle 3 guys that is dark guys then you have you can increase from 15 seconds and go up to 25 seconds see i will not recommend going up to 30 seconds because at 30 seconds trails will be formed which is not essential and we don't want that okay so now i am keeping the shutter speed to be uh, let's say 13 seconds i will begin in the uh, 13 13 with 13 seconds okay for iso uh, if you are under bottle 5 skies then you can use the iso in the range of 800 to up to maximum that is uh, 1600 okay and if you are under darker skies then you can start from 1600 and go up to uh, let's see up to 3200 see i can still go beyond 3200 but it is not essential if you are under perfect dark skies then also then only you have to go beyond 3200 so at present i am keeping the uh, iso to be let's say 1000 okay now additional features so you can see over here that 64 megapixel option is shown so if you want to get a better image i mean clear image then you can use that option otherwise it is not needed my phone is poco x3 so it has uh, this option that raw mode is there so if i click on this raw mode it will save the raw file as well as the jpg file then you can see that exposure verification is shown so it is not currently needed focus picking is uh, not uh, needed right now then you can see the time burst option this is a op uh, option which enables us to uh, click multiple images so it is available in some of the mi phones okay so you can see over here the number of photos are shown and interval between these photos are shown so i just have to set the number of images that i want to capture and the interval between two images that is without exposure so at present i am not using it but if you want to stack the rom files or the jpg files then you have to use the time burst option if it is given if it is not given then you can either use the intervalometer application or the photo fields application okay both the application are available on the play store so now i am keeping uh, three uh, three seconds timer so that uh, my phone uh, remains steady and it doesn't six off so now i will click on the shutter button and it will start clicking the image So you can see over here that Orion constellation along with the Orion nebula is captured in my phone. Okay, you can see it is very clearly seen in the uh, JPG image and now I will show you the raw image. Okay, so this is the raw image and you can see the clarity in the raw image. So this image is, I will prefer that if your phone has got the raw image, then you can use the raw mode only, I mean the raw mode so that you can get better details after stacking okay so now i will change some settings and show you that how the settings differ effect okay so i am keeping the shutter speed to be 15 seconds and the same iso let's say i will not increase it okay so again i am repeating if you are under bottle 5 skies then you can use the shutter speed from 8 seconds to 15 seconds range and iso can be in the range of 800 to 1600 sometimes it happens that sky is very clear okay so you can use uh, up to 1600 also but at present it is not needed see some brightness has increased uh, as compared to the previous image but this is good with the less shutter speed okay it is uh, not yet uh, see it is currently 8 o'clock 8 8.10 pm so uh, it is not very dark i will say uh, if you want to capture good image then you have to wait up to 9 o'clock or 9 30 and you can start after that okay so this was regarding the photographing part i will again repeat that if you are under bottle 3 then you can use the shutter speed in the range of 15 seconds to 25 seconds and the iso should be in the range of 1600 to 3200 okay and under light polluted skies let's say bottle 5 or bottle 6 you can use it in the range of that is the shutter speed should be in the range of 8 to 15 seconds and i show you in the range of 800 to 1600 okay so this was regarding the photographing of orion constellation okay so now i want to share some tips regarding the photographing so see photographing this orion constellation or any other part of the night sky is not a one time process it is a trial and error method every time you go outside you have to take some trial shots and then start taking the actual images 
okay so first thing is that we have to take the trial shots now second thing is that if you are under bottle three skies then you need to keep an eye on the fog because uh, after sunset for some minutes uh, or uh, let's say about one hour fog is there in the sky okay just after sunset so you have to wait up to that so you can start after eight o'clock in the rural skies and let's say if you are under city skies that is bottle five or bottle six skies then uh, you can uh, keep an eye on the street lights because street lights are very hindering okay so if uh, you want to capture any object or any other thing in the sky that is any celestial body or constellation then you need to go on a heighted area okay you can either choose your terrace of your apartment or you can find some spot where city lights are not uh, hindering and comparatively the light pollution is less okay the third most important part is that make sure the uh, sky is clear when you are uh, capturing any object okay uh, you have seen in my image that uh, communication tower was there so sometimes lights may be there on that tower so it may also affect your image so you have to keep a clear area for uh, photographing the constellation or any other celestial body okay so this was about the tips and i hope that uh, at final that you are now clear regarding photographing the orion constellation and the orion nebula so please like and share this video and subscribe to the channel for more updates on smartphone astrophotography astronomy astronomical events and other topics on science and technology stay tuned up to then